Hello friends. This is the second video on time intelligence functions. As I mentioned in my first video that I will be doing a deep dive in DAX time intelligence functions. Today we are going to look into three functions which is uh, dates MTD, dates QTD and dates YTD. These functions allow us to um, create the measures to get the month to date, quarter to date and year to date um, uh, values based on whatever measure we are using. So let's take a closer look like how this works, what, what is month to date means in the context of when we're looking at the data. So let's get to Power BI and take a look. Here I have a, a simple page um, where, where I have a sales measure shown by um, hierarchy, which is year and then quarter and uh, then, then month and then therefore there is a date. So this is what the sales is all about. It is working perfectly fine. And uh, now let's say I created a KPIs where is a month to date, quarter to date and year to date. And let's see what happens with those uh, um, measures. So in, in my measures here in day two, uh, day two month to date sales, I just uh, use a function dates MTD calendar date because that's my date dimension and then I'm filtering my sales um, measure with that dates right and then same with the QTD I'm using dates QTD and then uh, YTD I'm doing YTD so if I am putting these now this is the second page I have created so when I put these measures in uh, in my KPI cards the values are blank why these values are blank, right? We have the data. Why why are we not seeing any numbers here? So to understand why a numbers are blank, we need to understand what, when I'm looking at the dates MTD, what date range it is returning to me. Uh, that's, that's the, because the, this is the table in a variable, dates MTD, which is filtering the sales uh, our um, um, sales table and then that's the measure is getting calculated. So what is what is this returning right now at this point of time? So what I did is I created a three more measures and this is the, uh, if you want to debug if your numbers does not match how to debug what is going on with time intelligence function. This is one of the technique you can use. So I have like a same dates MTD function um, stored in a variable and then I'm getting the minimum value and the maximum values from this table. So it is giving me what is the starting point and the ending point given the dates MTD. So since we have these, I created like three measures, uh, dates QTD and YTD returning the starting and the ending date. So why these numbers are blank? So what I did here is uh, uh, I created three another KPI cards, uh, which I just, uh, uh, will make it visible and now if you look at the, these three cards right now so which gives us the date so what dates we are getting this is giving me a 20, December 2022 to end of December 1st December 2 and this one is giving me the last quarter of the year and this is giving me the full 2022 now the 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 problem here is where is this getting these dates from since our uh, now that's where the our date dimension comes in the picture our calendar table which is our date dimension is up to year 2022 so it means what we are getting it it is going to end of the year and then on the last date it is calculating month to date quarter to date and year to date and since we don't have any sales in uh, if we go back to our sales page since we don't have a sales in 2022 and that's the last sales is only in January 2021. So that's the reason that these numbers are not coming up anything because the dates month to date and dates QTD and dates YTD, the range it is getting calculated is based on the last date in our calendar table. And since there is no data in those dates and these numbers are blank. Now to further look into this, I have created another uh, uh, matrix visual where I have created this range, right? I have a, I use those measures, dates, measures on my, uh, on my values. So to look at every point, how does this works? 
So if look, we look at the 2018 year, so if we are at the year level, our month to date dates is, if we are at the year level, our month to date dates is, dates MTD function is returning us last date of that year when that the row I am looking at. Now you have to be uh, very careful. The row I am looking, I'm looking at the year level. If I'm in 2018, I have the full calendar table, 1st January 2018 to 31st December 2018. So it is taking the last date of the range based on the context I'm looking at and then giving me the starting month to date that is the December. And when uh, similar with the quarter to date when I'm at 2018, it's giving me the fourth quarter and year to date is of course it's the full year. Now let's further uh, uh, look into this. When I go 2018, go to the quarter level. So now my month to date is returning the, if in a Q1 is from 1st January 31st March, so what is it's taking the 31st March as the last date and then giving me the month to date range. That's the month to date now in this. But if I'm looking at the quarter 2018, the month to date means March 1st to 31st March and QTD will be fine because Q, we are looking at the QTD level. This will be January 1st and uh, March 31st because we are looking at Q1. And year to date will be fine because it's always start of the year, which is just January 1st till uh, quarter, which we are looking at. And if we look at the quarter two, 2018, now our month to date is the, uh, is the sixth month of that because that is what in quarter two, the last month is June, which is sixth month. And then we are getting June 30, uh, 1st to June 30th. And quarter to date is fine because that is um, starting from April to June. And year to date is now we're getting First January in this context, when I'm looking quarter two, I'm looking at that date range, first January 2018 to um, June uh, 30th. So it's if you look into this particular scenario, like all month to date, quarter to date and year to date, they have the different date ranges coming up depending on what context you are looking at. Like if I further go down in Q3, I go at the month level. Now, when I'm at the month level, my quad now my month to date will be fine because I'm at same granularity a month to date seven seventh month which is uh, July and I'm looking at July 1st to July 31st this is what it is returning and uh, when I'm QTD of course it is the first if you look at the the July is the first month in QTD too so that's what I'm seeing January uh, sorry uh, July 1st to July 31st and when I'm in August I'm looking at July 1st to August and because there's a second month of the quarter and this is the third month of the quarter and date a month year to date is always starting from the day one uh, uh, January 1st and going up to um, our uh, uh, the month I'm looking at so this is all working fine if I further go down maybe I go at the date level so if you look at the date level our our month to date is always starting from the first day of the month and then up to the context of the date. So in this case, August 2nd, it is the range is now month to date range is starting date of the month, first date of the month, and then the context we are looking at. If I'm in like a 10th of month uh, of August, so my date range for month to date is now 1st August to 10th August. For my quarter to date is always the, the start of the quarter, which is July 1st, because I'm looking at quarter two and then up to the date. And the year to date is also similarly the same way. So I hope this make you understand how the dates, quarter to date, month to date, and year to date, what date range we are getting. With the date range does not mean anything. It means only in the context you are looking at because those are changing as we look at, like when we're looking at the August level, if we're looking at the month level, the month to date is 1st August to 31st August. When we are looking at the 10th August level, my month to date is now 1st August to 10th August and uh, so forth, so on. And since in, in this particular scenario, our uh, because our calendar is up to 2022, so th because the month, that's the reason why we are now uh, getting these date ranges. So we are getting 31st December and here we are also getting the quarter 4th of 22 and this is we are getting the full year. And, and the reason, if you look at the total, uh, at, at the total level because this is a Mayesh giving us that. So this is what the range is happening because we are not in the context of any year, month, date. It's at the total level. So it is going to the last date in our calendar table 
and then giving us the month to date quarter to date and year to date range and that is what is happening here and um, now for example i have a, i put a filter in here because i know i have a 2021 data so if i click on a 2021 data what happens is now i'm getting my year to date first um, January 2021 to 31st December 2021 and this uh, number I'm getting for quarter to date now I'm getting the last quarter of 2021 because in year 2021 selected the last visible date in that is 31st December 2021 and that's why I'm getting this range and similarly with month to date it's the last month of 2021 so it changed as I selected the year and the reason why I'm not seeing quarter to date and month to date values, because if we go back to page one, um, currently in there is no sales in the fourth quarter. It is only in the first quarter. There is, and there, of course, there is no sales in December. And since our month to date and year quarter to date is calculating the last quarter of the year and the last month of the year, what we have selected, uh, and that's what we are why that's why we are not seeing the um, um, uh, values now uh, other point is like what happens if I select two years right if I have selected let's say a 2020 and 2019 what would happen so in this case if we have selected the two years so now the visible dates in our calendar dimension is from January 1st 2019 to 31st December 2020 so based on that it is the year to date is as as it is going to the last date of the year which is 31st December 2020 it's calculating year to date from there and of course from 31st December it's calc so these numbers are in the context of what we are selecting so when there is no selection uh, these numbers uh, come out to be different and I see people like okay I, I don't know why my month to date is not working and so now with this technique you can you can actually give the as I showed in this measure you can actually give um, a, a create the date range what you are getting calculated and that will make you understand why your numbers are not matching it's easier to do this way to debug this way is basically I used a MTD function calendar date because that's my calendar dimension stored it in a variable and then I'm getting the my starting point and my ending point to understand what date range these functions are returning so that I can understand how uh, why I'm not seeing the data or, or what is happening or why I'm seeing some different numbers now you can understand like what but now you probably understand like what date ranges you are getting and how you're getting the data now Okay, this is great. We understood. This is how it works. So what is the fix? How we fix it? I have a, I'm in a year 2022. My calendar dimension is now, uh, is up to the 2022, but unfortunately there's no sales in year 2022. So what these KPIs sh should show? So um, that's again, it's, it's a business discussion. What you want to see if this current year does not have any sales, then should these be blank or should these be done based on the last transaction date? To solve that, I already created a video a few weeks ago on that, like uh, how to make a quarter to date, month to date based on the last transaction date. I will put the link of the video in the description of, uh, of this video. Uh, do check out that video to, to solve um, how, how you can achieve uh, the, the KPIs based on the last transaction date. But in this particular series, I want to go into these time intelligent functions and try to understand how the date ranges are getting calculated, why, what the date ranges we are seeing depending on quarter level, month level, date level, and how these numbers are getting calculated. I hope you, you, find, you will find this useful and that this will help you to uh, work with your time intelligence functions and uh, uh, you will able to debug in case you are not getting the numbers what you are looking for. There will be a lot more videos in this series. I will be going, going into uh, other set of um, similar time intelligence functions. And uh, stay tuned. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.